after what was supposed to be the most epic date ever, which included top golf, flowers, dinner, ice cream, and horseback riding, one poor guy got the biggest kick in the pants ever. His date put him in the friend zone. And as bad as I feel for Daniel, pretty much the entire internet felt pretty bad for Daniel too. Everyone started commenting with the hashtag soldier down. That hurts even more. And a lot of people started reposting the picture with their own captions. Moment of silence for this brother in the friend zone. Hashtag soldier down. Hashtag someone call a medic. Hashtag pray for Dan. And even after all that, the young lady who originally posted this didn't get it. She replied to the comments saying, what does this mean? And even Daniel himself stepped in commenting. Thanks for the prayers guys. I tried, guys. You're the underdog that ends up falling in love in that quirky romantic comedy. I believe in you. And then after becoming somewhat viral stars, Daniel cleared it all up. Posting, I'm the one who set these boundaries to begin with. I'm also the one who made up the hashtag as a joke, leading up to the day Alex had shared with me her testimony. And because of her past relationships, her self-worth had diminished. She had never been treated like a lady and I wanted to show her what it was like. So please stop the harassment. This is the exact opposite of what I wanted to happen. The comments and messages she has been receiving have been nothing but hate. She does not deserve that. And he continued, you get the point. But with Valentine's Day around the corner, that brings up the whole idea of the friend zone. I mean, where did it even begin? The term friend Friend zone ironically came from the show Friends, where Joey explains to Ross that he and Rachel are never going to have them. Because you waited too long to make your move, and now you're in the friend zone. <laughs> YouTuber Vsauce explains the science behind the friend zone, claiming it might be the result of something called the Bateman's Principle. Inevitably, one sex will have to commit more resources to the production of offspring. YouTuber Maddie B. Raps even rapped about the friend zone in a video that has gotten over 50 million views. And the taco offers up 10 reasons that you might be in the friend zone. You do everything for them. You're basically doing everything a girlfriend or boyfriend would do without the commitment. So from all this, while it might sound like a dirty word, how about we look at it in a positive light? Let's treat the friend zone as a place of possibility that perhaps that wasn't really meant to be. So what do you think about Daniel's situation and have you ever been in the friend zone? Share your stories in the comments below, like and subscribe for more of What's Trending.